Yes, um, my name is Jamie Suber. I'm with the South Carolina Department of Employment and Workforce. Um, I serve in the role of Chief of Staff currently. My name is Ronnie Clamp. I work with the South Carolina Department of Employment and Workforce, better known as DUNE. Uh, the division that we operate under is the uh, Technical Services Policy and Reporting uh, Division. Hello, I'm Daryl Scott, Director, Delaware Division of Unemployment Insurance. Really is, really, that's a, that's a very loaded question. And what I would recommend to them is first, you know, do their homework. Um, there's a great deal of states out here that have gone through modernization efforts over the last five to three years, some better than others some vendors better than others, some experiences better than others. That's the first thing that I would say to them is understand what you're getting yourself into, understand what you want as far as the modernization, and then spend some time reaching out to states. Um, ask them what their engagement was like, ask them what their experience was like, ask them did their vendor fulfill their responsibilities and their RFP and did they get what they wanted and you know what did they like and what did they did not like about their engagements. That would be the first thing that I would recommend to, to someone is to do their homework, understand their needs, understand their wants, and then spend some time you know navigating the space, the domain, whether it be on the employer tax side whether it be on the benefit side and just really, uh, whether it could be appeals, whatever it may be, understand what you're looking for, understand what you want, and then do some homework. Then understand what you're looking for in your engagement and make sure that those things reflect in the development of your RFP. Go ahead and start envisioning what you want that experience to be from beginning to end. Get a better understanding of what you want your situation to be. Are you looking for something that is a quick fix where you don't have the staff to actually come in and develop on your own? Or are you looking for something straight out the box, something that's a plug and play? Or are you looking for some personalization, some things that work for you, for your state, for your organization? So those are some of the things that I would recommend for an individual before they get on the road of modernization. Amazing, um, amazing. Um, I think when we think about Sagittech, we think about us being very immature in the space, not knowing what we really were getting ourselves into. We engaged on the modernization. Um, really, the timing was perfect for us. We had just really embarked on a consortium with our benefit side where we were working with a another vendor on a detailed benefit solution. And we realized that on our tax side, we really needed the same thing. And we really knew what we wanted to do. We knew we wanted better. We knew that uh, our product that we currently was using was into life and we needed to come up with the solution very quickly. And we put RFP out and, you know, Sagitech, you know, they were awarded the contract. And, you know, not only did we get a vendor, but we got a friend. And when we got that friend, we got a solution from someone that just didn't want to put something in and walk away. They actually wanted to work with us to get to the best outcomes, to the best solutions. And it wasn't just about, hey, you could do it this way and this is what we recommend. It was more about you could do things this way. This is what we recommend and this is why. And really just us walking that walk together. The fact that Sagitech brought a great deal of knowledge and institutional knowledge to the table, um, building that trust, that genuine rapport and us having an engagement, one where we could challenge one another and get to the best outcomes. And now, you know, we fast forward and we think about our solution. It's one that we're truly proud of and one that we're excited to continue to master. I mean, it's not a done product. I mean, every opportunity to make a change, make an enhancement, they're right there with us, you know, supporting those movements, supporting those efforts. And that's what we like about working closely with Sagitech. The biggest thing that we really were saying is we, we want a, a customized out of the box solution. We're looking for a COTS and, uh, you know, really, when you put a, a solicitation out there, you don't know what you're going to get back. But when you get those solicitations back and you actually go through and read and score and review and think about really what that experience and that engagement is going to be, you know, trust and honesty. And that's what we got is we got an honest, honest response from the vendor. Sagitech did not lie to us. They gave us the truth. And what I mean by did not lie to us, she had some that say, oh, 99% out of the box, plug and play, nothing you need to worry about. You know, it's going to be quick. It's going to be on time. And, you know, it's going to be this. No development needed. We got you. Or, you know, the opposite. And this is what Sagitech came to the table with us and told us, hey, 
this is how much it costs, and this is how much we still need to work on. But guess what? We're willing to work on that with you all, and we're going to get you a solution that not only you are going to enjoy, but one that we're going to be proud of. And that's exactly what they gave us. Um, we made some changes. We got some things wrong. We got some things right. And what I mean by that is, you know, there were critical pieces during this engagement where we, you know, we didn't have enough institutional knowledge to make the right recommendation. We had to lean on some of their expertise to come and get us in the right direction and turn us and pivot us to a place where we could get to some commonalities and some agreements. So it's really, really was good just having them as a vendor, them as a partner, help us get through that process. But, you know, I think that, you know, we all would want it something that would have been 80, 90, 100 percent plug and play. But, you know, I think we signed up for something that was more like 60, 40 and we worked through that that 40 percent together. Yes, um, just that. I think we used the word partnership and relationship loosely. But one thing that, you know, we've done is we share information and um, other states, whether it be um, uh, West Virginia, whether it be Maryland, whether it be Ohio, we spent the time allowing them to come and visit with us, see our solution, you know, DC, come down, spend a day, spend a week. We want to show you what we've gained. We want to show you what we've built, what we've developed and how we use it, because we want your experience to be one that's meaningful and purposeful to you. Um, and that's one thing that I like about the engagement and like from our solution is it has truly changed the way we do business, the way we service our customers, our clients, the way we perform our, our job functions internally. So I really think that when someone embarks on changing the way that their industry or their agency or their state does business, they really need to think that thing out. Think about what they're looking for. Think about what that engagement is going to be and then start thinking about what are they going to do to make sure that it's something that is rewarding and you get your return on investment as quickly as possible. And that takes some time. That takes some work. That takes some some communication and it takes them understanding what they're gaining, what that experience is going to be. And then really, what do they want? What do you really want? And, you know, I'm, I'm not trying to tote Sagitech, but, you know, them being our partner, I have to speak highly of the relationship, the commitment to excellence. You know, there have been some painful moments. You know, there have been some challenges. You know, there have been disagreements. But at the end of the day, they stayed in the trenches with us to get to an outcome that I think supports not only what they wanted to bring to the table, but also the solution that we were looking for so we can set those high expectations for our end users, whether it be internally or externally. That's a good question. Probably very similar to, to most folks that are working off a legacy uh, system. You know, we had problems with flexibility and adaptability, you know, legislation changes and new programs come into play and it was very difficult to to get up and going quickly, uh, if at all, without having to go out and, and uh, build from scratch kind of uh, issues. Uh, we had a lot of repetitive manual interventions that, that, that just took up time and resources. Um, we had uh, multiple add-on with platforms that, that didn't match with the system and we were always fighting that fight to to get all these different options working off of one system and, and that was very difficult well go go one with security and, and along with that at, at the same level was integrity you know those were the two uh, cornerstones that we were building off of and then following with that we wanted customer satisfaction uh, with the interaction with the system. We wanted um, self-service for the customers. We wanted to empower our customers to be able to utilize uh, the, the system on their time and, and, and under their control. And, and internally, we wanted to streamline uh, and get efficiencies through process improvements. First word that comes to mind is professional. They were all professional. Incredible group. Uh, their knowledge was robust, um, they were detailed, and the most important thing, they were trustworthy. Um, you know, the professionalism, it was on point, it was on time, and they were always on task. Um, their committing, commitment, w without a doubt, um, they were in the trenches with the due team uh, to, to provide the best uh, service for the citizens of South Carolina. And for due, that is our primary vision. Well, kind of touching back on some of the previous responses, 
the customer service. Uh, it became a self-service cornerstone. Um, they were empowered to control their time and their interactions with you. Um, a lot of positive feedback from that. Um, it really drove the use of a new system. And anytime you implement change, there's going to be resistance. But when that change is such that it improves uh, their interactions, uh, our stakeholders and, and our users, then, then you get buy-in. Yeah, we got quite a bit. Uh, we we communication was a big part of the project throughout the entire process, and uh, feedback was important to us. It let us know if we were on target with what we were trying to achieve uh, from our uh, outreach efforts uh, through mail, emails, phone calls, uh, webinars. Uh, we went out on site. We did a road trip around the state on site, and those actually turned out to be really great. Uh, the feedback was very positive. They they liked the fact that uh, they they could do work in the system without having to interact with a a uh, a person. But that if they needed that person, that contact could be made. But they found that doing the work themselves, uh, they didn't have to wait for somebody to respond or wait for some process to happen. Uh, that it gave them greater control of, of their business needs. Um, there's multiple uh, reductions of reports for customers. Uh, we had our customers had to, on the tax side, had to prepare two separate reports, and we were able to completely eliminate one report. Customers will love that. Um, automation of the registration. Again, it, it allowed us to take staff and in other areas when the system was helping with that registration process. Um, reductions of, of manual and paper reporting. Employers, again, were given the opportunity to, to do this online. They didn't have to mail. They didn't have to worry about stamps. They didn't have to worry about the paper being on the right form and that kind of thing. Um, there, there were automations of internal and external reporting for quality assurance and standardized uh, reporting. That, that was very important to us. Um, connectivity, something that you don't often think about. The connectivity or interfaces that you have with other partners. Uh, we, we standardized that. We had a hodgepodge of connections. And now anybody that wants to connect to us, we have a standard process for doing that. Um, Going back to some of our key points, we have a stronger security matrix for our internal and external users. And um, another big, big advantage is as a business user, um, having quick response to a production environment issue is key to us. And uh, we get that quick response from Sagitech. Um, take the time to fully develop your request for a proposal, RFP, whatever you call it. Uh, take the time to work the details. This is your foundation. Um, uh, from that, uh, all communication uh, are, are drawn from. Um, we always had that document to go back with, with Sagitech to, to work through issues um, and, and work through interpretation. Um, that would be the first thing. Make sure you have a quality uh, document of what your needs and desires are and outcomes will be. Make sure those matrix exist. The second part of that is make the commitment up front. Our executive leadership made that commitment and allowed us to develop a core team. The core team were committed just like the Sagitech team to the uh, development and, and deployment of this application um, and they became the ambassadors for this. Again, any significant project that you go through requires change management and you have to buy, get people to buy in. This is a wonderful tool, but it is the people that will make it work. And it's the people of Sagitech and the people at do that were empowered and given that ability to focus on this and build the confidence that was needed to deploy. We were uh, bombarded with uh, a tsunami of unemployment insurance claims 
for our traditional UI program. And in addition to that, we were faced with having to launch a uh, program to support the Pandemic Unemployment Assistance Program, uh, the Pandemic Emergency Unemployment Compensation Program, and extended benefits. And so we were looking for a partner that could help us uh, develop a system to uh, be responsive, help with fact finding, uh, manage workflow, and in general, communicate more effectively with our claimants. We were looking for a partner that understood our mission, shared our values, and had a sense of urgency, and also had the capabilities to stand up a system very quickly and uh, help us support uh, Delawareans in need during this crisis. One of the most frustrating challenges for us was an inability for us to communicate in a timely manner with our claimants. One, and provide them with a status of their claim. And so one of the things we were looking for in a new solution was an ability that would allow claimants to uh, monitor and track the progress of their claim, uh, ask questions, and for us to proactively be able to communicate status and communication or status with respect to their, uh, their claim as it moved through the process. So our existing system was challenged in many respects. One, we had limited fact-finding, um, really no effective way to proactively communicate with claimants. Um, no ability to upload documents, which was critical to our pandemic unemployment assistance program, the ability to capture information to help us uh, qualify and, and approve uh, those claims. We were faced with tremendous volume of claims for our traditional UI program. In the first week, we received more claims than we have received in any month in our prior uh, history. In the first four weeks, we received more claims than we had received in the entirety of 2019. So we were faced with a tremendous challenge to be able to respond to our traditional unemployment insurance programs and the volume of claims, much less launch a new system um, that, that would support the pandemic unemployment assistance program. The system, the neoassurance system that Sagistec deployed for us was initially deployed to support the pandemic unemployment assistance program with a plan for it to um, then support the pandemic emergency unemployment compensation program and then ultimately the extended benefits program. As a result of working with Sagitech, we were able to launch the new assurance system to support the PUA, PEUC, and the extended benefits programs. As a result, we paid more than uh, 10,000 pandemic unemployment assistance claimants, more than $85 million. Um, and what's exciting is we launched the system in four weeks, we were paying within two weeks, um, and have since have again processed and paid more than 10,000. Uh, individuals $85 million in benefits.